Hello, my name is Graciela Garcia Torres. I am the Capital County Office of Education Region 3 Lead for Title III in the Sacramento County Office of Education. Why is data about English learners important for you? In California, we have access to information about English learners that can assist educators in planning and improving programs for students. The California Department of Education developed a tool that is helpful in the English learner data analysis process. This tool is called the English Learner Subgroup Self-Assessment, better known as the ELSA. This session will provide an overview of this tool and give ideas for implementation. There are two goals for this session. One is to review the components of the ELSA tool. The other is to show how the collected data into the ELSA can be used to re-examine the effectiveness of the English Learner Program for the local education agency or district. In the session, we will review the four parts of the ELSA and provide hints on how to review the information with your district data. The ELSA is an Excel workbook with tabs and formulas that facilitate the capturing of data. The data needed can be found on the CDE or the California Department of Education Data Quest reports under the English Learners and Title III Accountability Selections. The other location is on the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress or CASP reports for the English Learner subgroups in the subjects of English Language Arts and Mathematics. The ELSA is a data collection tool that assist education agencies or districts to examine their programs and services for English learners. Though not required, the ELSA provides districts with significant information about services to English learners. This tool helps to identify key challenge areas and explore root causes for English learners not meeting the annual measurable attainable objectives or AMAOs. The ELSA is a tool that will assist education agencies or districts to complete the needs assessment portion of the action plan, analyze district and school level data on overall English learner performance in learning English as measured on the California English Language Development Test or CELT, and increasing academic proficiency as measured on the Smarter Balance assessments for California SBAC for ELA and math. Determine how effectively the program for English learners is being implemented. Facilitate the identification of strengths and weaknesses of the current program for English learners in the local education agency plan or LEAP. Assist in the revision of the local education agency plan and reflect changes to the program for English learners. Analyze student performance in order to revise or adjust current activities for English learners to meet AMAO targets. Assembles data from CELT, SBAC, that relate to language acquisition and access to the core content areas such as English language arts and math. It disaggregates performance data by years in U.S. schools and by CELT level, places a lens on high school access for English learners in advanced placement and graduation readiness. Note that the ELSA provides district, not school level information, and does not evaluate the programs for English learners. Here are six possible questions that emerge from doing the process of the ELSA to help local education agencies or districts indicate the strengths and weaknesses of their services to English learners. The ELSA has worksheets for local education agencies or districts to input data, a separate worksheet for staff to view the data and respond to guiding questions, and survey items related to English learner program services in five categories. Let's become familiar with the format and the organization of the ELSA. The ELSA is organized into four sheets in an Excel document. Worksheet 1 is a narrated explanation with directions for the rest of the document. Worksheet 2 is a series of 11 tables for the district to fill in their local data. Tables 1 through 4 
contain grade level progress in meeting AMAOs 1 and 2 in grades 1st through 12th. Tables 5 through 7 contain performance on CELT and SVAC results in grades 3rd through 8th. Tables 8 through 11 pertain to high school data and on graduation rates, AP passage rates, AP access, and SVAC results. Worksheet 3 is used as a discussion board that facilitates the analysis of the English learner data. It asks for you to briefly discuss the trends and record your next steps. It also provides key questions to look into the implementation and program improvement for English learners. Finally, Worksheet 4 collects the populated data in Worksheet 3 to provide districts with information about their program in the five English learner program and services categories. The worksheet tabs are on the bottom of the pages. Tables are color coded in yellow to indicate where the local education agency staff or district staff need to supply data or respond to questions and survey items. Notes to guide the preparer are italicized and shaded green as a reminder to enter data and respond to prompts to guide the discussion. The table functionality is secured, that is, once the data is added, it cannot be accidentally altered by staff facilitating the data analysis and survey item administration. The survey items have been placed directly below the data table that best relates to each respective item. The survey items on the ELSA found on Worksheet 3 and 4 are rated on a Likert scale using the same rating as used in the Academic Program Survey APS. Rating 3 indicates a substantial level of implementation. The chart on the next slide describes the criteria of each objective per rating level. When completing the ELSA, any rating below the desired level will automatically be in red font. Desired level will be in green. This is the only section where numbers can be typed for the purpose of responding to the survey questions. The responses will automatically populate the survey results section of the ELSA. This chart describes the criteria used on the ELSA to rate questions and data collected. The first column refers to the levels of implementation. The second to respond to questions regarding student participation and the third refers to the uniformity and coherence of English learner program implementation. In Worksheet 3, the survey question section is the only other section where numbers can be typed for the purpose of responding to the five English learner program services categories in the survey section. The responses will automatically populate the survey results section of the ELSA. The responses to the survey items are automatically tabulated for each table and aggregated into a table in a separate worksheet by the five English learner program and services categories. Each category is comprised of a series of questions that together give the local education agency or district an overall rating per category. So how can you gain a better spectrum of the survey's responses? Involvement of stakeholders is essential to gain a deeper understanding of the services provided to English learners. Local education agencies or districts eligible to receive a subgrant of less than $10,000 must form a consortium where the subgrant generated by the participating LEAs collectively equals or surpasses $10,000. Here are a few tips on how to make use of the ELSA tool for districts that must form a consortium. If the consortium members 
have small numbers of English learners, it is recommended to focus on the survey questions. This way, consortium members can use the survey responses to devise a common plan for improvement. Information obtained from the ELSA data analysis and surveys will provide valuable information that can be used when developing other plans, such as the Local Control Accountability Plan, or LCAP. Some examples of the types of information generated by the ELSA are noted on the right side of the column. Look at the eight state priorities in the left column. How can the ELSA information be used when developing your LCAP or other plans? Are you ready for the next steps? Here are a few recommendations. The following is a quote by Saunders and Goldenberg found on page 59 in the California Department of Education book Improving Education for English Learners Research-Based Approaches. Available research suggests that the only way to promote higher levels of English language development among English learners is to make sure it is a school and district-wide priority. These resources will provide you with the tools needed to complete the information requested on the ELSA. To access the ELSA, contact your regional lead or if you have an account with the California Monitoring Tool, or CMT, system, you can find it under Resources. These additional resources can be useful to support the implementation of the programs for English learners. The California Department of Education, Stanford University, and the Sacramento County Office of Education have created a multitude of resources to support the planning and improvement process for English learner programs. Here is another quote from Improving Education for English Learners, Research-Based Approaches. Thank you for your valuable time to view this session. I hope you found the ELSA information useful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact your County Office of Education Title III Regional Lead.